to serve. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Zhou Yu, this battle you're describing is all in your head. In my opinion, I just do not think it's realistic. But Master Cheng Pu, while we sit here wringing our hands, Yuan Shu's force just continues to grow. Ugh. So, you're saying we must defeat him before he engulfs us and seize control of his base? Is that about right, Zhou Yu? My lord. Have you heard the word reckless? <clears throat> uh. Sun Tzu has momentum. He also has the ability to draw people to him and inspire them. With that, now is the time to show the world that Sun Wu is in Zhangdong. <clears throat> Why do we listen to the musings of a pallid youth? <sighs> Listen, let's call it a day. Then tomorrow, I want to hear everyone's thoughts on this. Hey there, hold it now. Oh, <laughs> oh you went a little far, didn't you? Personally, I really think he had a point back there. I really do. He did, but he is way too passionate for his age. It comes from being a highly intelligent but rash youth. We must teach him better, understand? I understand. At least for now, we must show him exactly what a battle truly is. I have spoken with Yuan Shu. Sun Tzu, you're free to make your next move however you see fit. Well, thank you, 
Joe Yu. Everyone, have you completed your preparations? We're about to secure a land to create the Kingdom of Wu. This will serve as the foundation for our future ambitions. Chuan, Shang Xiang, Zhou Yu, Chang Pu, Huang Gai, Han Dong. I need all of you to lend me your strength for the trials ahead. Speed will be the essence in this battle. We must overwhelm the enemy position before they have a chance to strike back. The longer we take, the greater disadvantage we'll face with provisions and troop strength. We must focus our efforts and quickly seize victory. By the way, there are some people I would like for you to meet. Come on in! This is Zhou Tai and Lu Meng. They both know how to handle themselves in a fight, so I invited them to join our army. My name is Zhou Tai. Zhou Tai. He was an unusually reticent man that operated as a pirate on the Shangjiang. His abilities were recognized by Sun Tzu, who invited him to join Wu. After Sun Jian's death, Sun Tse found himself surrounded by enemies as the new leader of the Sun family. However, Zhou Tai simply focused on silently defeating all those that stood in his way. I am Lu Meng. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You guys are new here. Try not to outshine me, okay? Forget about that. Who are these two? This is our lord's wife, Lady Da Chao. She's joined by Lady Xiao Chao, wife of Master Zhou Yu. Thanks. Um, it's nice to meet you, everyone. Come on, everybody! Let's do our best out there! Master Sun Tzu, you're not planning on taking them to war, are you? I have also mentioned this on numerous occasions. Are you sure about this, Sun Tzu? They both want to come with us. Surely, you know, as well as I do, Zhou Yu, nothing is worse than being left behind. We promise to stay out of the way. We'll do whatever we can to help. Hey! We're pretty tough in a fight too, you know. Well, I guess our hands are tied. Just try to be careful out there, you hear? Okay, let's go! It's time the name of the Sun family rang throughout the land. Let's go, everybody! We'll defeat Liu Yao and seize the land of Zhang Dong! Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me.
out the enemy and break through Shi Tin! Victory! Are you trying to spy on us? Then you'll have to try harder. You won't get past me like that! <laughs> Let's go! We're taking over that area, even if it's the last thing we do. Let's go! We're taking over that area, even if it's the last thing we do. We have received our order. We forced the gates open. Is it this bad? Ah, a most impressive performance. We need to try and keep up. Okay, let's go. This area is ours for the taking. We will capture this area. Let's go. Show them no mercy! as necessary to fulfill my duty. Victory is ours. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! so easily. Prepare the siege weapons. Hey! I found a really good spot! Let's go get it! I will lead the 
the way to our next target. Follow me! Just a step away. We can recover if we keep our wits about us. <laughs> this castle is a key position for the forces of Liu Yao. You cannot have it! <laughs> we must stop Sun Tzu's forces at all costs. Archers, forward! Open fire! Strength of Sunsa. The strength of the little conqueror. He's rested. Please accept my surrender. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Strength proves insufficient. Very well. Only to surrender to you. Hours. Come, men of Sunsa's army. I will show you the pride of the protector of these lands. <laughs> Those forces are gaining momentum. Be careful, Master Wang Long. Magnificent job. I'm glad you're on our side. 
Now is the moment. I will use my strategy to defeat Sun Tzu's forces. Sun-Tzu's forces and assist him. This will be the fastest route to peace with Jandong. Very well. Let us proceed to Liu Yao at Joy. Victory is ours. I will slay as many officers as necessary to fulfill my duty. been decided. All units forward! We will now proceed deeper into enemy territory. Follow my lead. Stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! Oh, couldn't do a thing. Considering their strength, I got off lightly. Victory is ours. Your skills. You're definitely special. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again.
Shi Si. I have been ordered by Master Liu Yao to defeat you in battle. Return to nothingness. Take defensive positions. Once again, I refuse to let you set foot anywhere near Master Liu Yao. Tai Shi Su, you good for nothing. Can you not even slow the enemy down? Then I will have to defeat Sun Tse myself. Is this some plan or just... But I don't have time to worry about it. I must simply fight. Surrendered at YG! Liu Yao can't win now! Master Wang Lang surrendered? Then we must do likewise. I cannot keep fighting for Liu Yao, but he only cares about himself. Wu and Kawaiji have been taken by Sun Tzu. 
We're finished! My fight is finished! Victory! Report! Our midpoint base has fallen. We can't hope for reinforcements now. What? Those imbeciles are capable of nothing! First, we need to capture that area over there. Everybody, prepare to go to battle! We turned into nothingness. I am in grave danger. Summon Tai Shi Su. He must keep me safe. I was just on my way to join the battle. I shall protect Master Liu Yao from the enemy. Curse you, Sun Tzu. You have ideas above your station, and one day they will be your downfall. Okay, the Jiangdong region belongs to us now. Everybody, it's time to celebrate. Victory is ours. Father, were you watching? We did it! The Kingdom of Wu now rules over Zhangdong! You're sure to be known throughout the land now, Master Sun Tzu! <laughs> I'm so happy. At last, our Lord's dream has been realized by Master Sun Tzu. Stop crying, Han Dong. We need to set an example for these greenhorns. It's fine, Cheng Pu. We all work together to achieve this victory. <laughs> I'm so happy that everybody's dreams came true. Yes, this was our dream all along. Everybody, thank you for helping us overcome the obstacles we faced. I am honored by your words. Sun Tzu, I have brought Tai Shi Su with me. I have no regrets. I gave my all in battle and was bested. I am prepared to face my execution, Master Sun Tzu. Tai Shi Su, where's the fun in dying? Besides, do you really care so little for your life? If so, how about entrusting it to me instead? What? I want to make U bigger and stronger than ever before. So much so that people can live their lives in peace and harmony. If I don't, then everything we've done will be for naught. Therefore, I need capable officers like you to help me make it a reality. Master Sun Tzu, you would allow me to participate in the realization of your dream? All right, it's decided then. Tai Shi Su, from today forth, you're one of us. <laughs> My brother always did tend to get caught up in the moment. Indeed. However, his passion in times like these is most admirable. It can even move the heart of a man who was once our enemy. I have a feeling there will be many more men like Tai Shi Su going forward. Princess, Sun Tzu will eventually make a play for the land itself. Wu's rise is just beginning. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him 
a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zheng. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Shu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. An Imperial Edict? Yes. These orders come from the Emperor himself. He wishes us to slay the traitor Yuan Shu for having the audacity to name himself Emperor. However, I believe Cao Cao is behind this. Yuan Shu himself is a small man, but his army is large. This is simply a strategic move made in the name of the Emperor. Hmm. I don't really care about the details. Yuan Shu sure is a strange one, naming himself Emperor when he hasn't even seized control of the land yet. He was presumably hoping to bluff his way through it until he could make it a reality. Unfortunately, there are many men in this world like that, Sun Tzu. Unlike him, you achieved actual results. You have built up a kingdom to rival Yuan Shu's here in Jiangdong. As such, I feel the eyes of the land are upon you. So, how will you respond, Sun Tzu? Your decision could greatly alter the course of the land. If we move north, we will face Yuan Shu eventually. Plus, he must answer for my father's death. And with Tao Tao behind the edict, we have little choice. Of course, Tao Tao is not a man to be taken lightly. Do you remember the presence with which he carried himself? Yes, I do. Eventually, I believe he will prove to be an even greater threat to us than you and Shu. Hmm. A greater threat, indeed. The day will come when we must face him in a battle for control of the land itself. We just need to make sure that we live to see it. We have already gone over the details. Our plan is to align with Cao Cao in order to defeat you and Shu. I want each of you to lead your units in the attack on Cho Chun. I will meet up with you later. That is all. Our victory is depending on your efforts. I don't like this. When was Zhou Yu put in a position to give me orders? Don't let it get to you. It's the role of us veterans to show the young'uns the way and help support their growth and development. Sa so trusts Zhou Yu with his life. I understand how you feel, Cheng Pu, but it's his decision to make. Yes. Despite his youth, Master Zhao Yu's strategies are uncommonly brilliant. He is everything you'd want in a commander. You're too young to even know what you're talking about. You would look down upon me simply because I am young? We both serve the same generous master. Hey, let's try to get along, okay? Come on, say something to back me up here, Joe Tai. You don't talk much, hmm? Are you sure you're okay with standing out even less than I do? Did you say something? You said that on purpose. Is my presence really that unremarkable? Hey! Quit your bickering, you guys! We're about to go to war here? Forgive me. You are correct, Princess. I'm sorry, Master Cheng Pu. I allowed myself to get a little carried away just now. I shall be more careful. No 
I shouldn't have been so defensive. Haha! <laughs> it looks like we're all a bunch of mewling babes before the princess. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind, let's get moving. It's time we drive Yuan Shu out of his hole in Shushun. So, that's basically the gist of it. We're teaming up with Cao Cao to attack Yuan Shu. Cao Cao is a most powerful ally to have. I don't think we've fought together since the campaign against Dong Zhuo. You're right. Our victory in this battle is almost assured. However, how we win is just as important. We need to continue building up our strength for the conflicts yet to come. We must keep that in mind as we approach this battle. Forgive me, all of you. It seems I need to rely on your help once more. I'll go anywhere to help you, Lord Sensa. Through thick and thin. I promise, I'll always be by your side. Hey! Me too! I'm willing to go anywhere for my Lord Zhou Yu! Everybody, prepare to move out! We will attack Shoshun and rid the land of Yuan Shu! I shall slay Yuan Shu. That is my only mission. Ah, Cao Cao. I don't think we've met since that time we faced Dong Zhuo. Yes, you're Sun Jian's boy. I see you've grown into a fine young man. You truly are the son of the Tiger of Jiandong. It is a pity that your father was taken from us so early. He truly was one of the land's greatest heroes. Thank you. I know my father would have been happy to hear you say so. Although, this is no time to relive the past, right? Indeed. I look forward to seeing your considerable strength in this battle against Yuan Shu. Go forth, young tiger, and do what you do best. Sure thing. That goes without saying. Okay, everybody, it's time to go. It's time we repay the debt we owe Yuan Shu. Any more aid? 
then we surely can't expect to win either. 